Flash forward. It's not a TV show. No, no, that's right. It used to be a TV. There, I, there was a TV show, yeah. Yeah. It was a good TV show too. So I mean, you yeah. started Flash Forward. Yes. And how did you? How and what is Flash Forward? And why did you start? It? Okay, it's with well, the Flash Forward Institute is actually what it was called, and how that came about. Heidi Wall uh, was my partner with that, my the co-founder at the time. Oh my God, that goes back about 18 years, and even a few years prior to that, where Heidi was, you know, working with a few people on that as we were kind of putting it together, and what we found was that people in the entertainment industry are brilliant at being creative, you know, actors, great actors, directors are great directors, DPs, great DPs, but they're all terrible when it comes to marketing themselves. They have no business tools at all. None of the universities, none of the film schools teach anything to do with marketing and getting yourself a job. They teach great directing, great acting, great DP, and great makeup artist, all that stuff. And I noticed, especially all those years ago with my husband, he had a big agent, waited by the phone, Ed, for two and a half years. Sat, I'm not lying, like sat by the phone, waited. He had won this big competition, so he ended up getting this big agent. Sat by the phone and waited. And I kept saying, you know, come on, get yourself a job, get out there and write. Because he was great, you know, behind the computer. 17 amazing scripts, which nobody would see because. He wasn't being a business person. He wasn't acting like he was the president and CEO of his company, which we are in this industry. Yes, we can be creative, and I'm not saying don't. I'm not even saying don't get an agent. Sure, have an agent, have a manager, but be responsible that you are a freelancer. You know, you're kind of a, a private contractor in a sense. You know, you've got to get that you're the person who is the president and CEO of your own company. And all we're trained in is the creative. So what Flash Forward does is it provides the business tools. You know, all the people that are out there in the industry and in other industries have and, and take for granted. That's what Flash Forward is. And it's a month long program where you take on a goal that would take you personally, you know, say a year or two or six months to a year, and take on doing it in that one month period. It's a Saturday and Sunday and four Thursday evenings. That you meet. That you meet. You meet, yeah, you come back and meet. Two of those Thursdays you meet with your team and your coach. That's what you've got great safety net. I'm glad you mentioned that because there's great level of safety nets. You've got phenomenal coaches that are trained uh, to be coaches looking after. After the teams, you're divided into teams. You're, you have a partner that you're in touch with every day. Um, you have to keep statistics on, uh, you know, on the stuff that you're doing every week. If it's, you know, making a certain number of phone calls to create those relationships, to get those meetings with those showrunners in order to get that, to, you know, that that writing job or whatever it happens to be, or doubling your number of auditions. We've had amazing results with thousands, over 15,000 participants over these years. And incredible, incredible, magical dreams have come true as a result of doing this and also you get mentors um, we have incredible guest speakers coming in uh, di famous directors uh, feature directors television directors someone like Michelle Shane who executive produced Catch Me If You Can and I Robot um, Michael uh, Nankin director of lots of TV series that we all know like CSI um, Mark Teschner a great a big casting director Mark Rosman a wonderful director Aaron Harvey who just directed this amazing uh, project he worked with, with Anna Pura so these people that are coming Incredible. That are People. coming in. Have they all done flash forward? Some of them have done flash forward. Other, yeah, actually, quite a few have done flash forward. Uh, but others have um, have just want to come in and contribute. And so we've got guest speakers. Like I said, you have mentors. There's wonderful kind of level of uh, relationships that you'll be um, having during the course. There's a wonderful kind of safety net, like I said, so that you take on this goal and you're not alone. That's what we try to do: is get that you're. Yes, maybe you're a private contractor out there as the makeup artist and the DP and the actor and the director and the writer and the producer. But you're not alone. You know, you don't have to be a lone ranger. You know, this is, there is a course where you can come, where you can have a group of people. We're being supported by a group of people. In fact, that's one of the requirements is you have to promise to be as accountable for the results and the goals of the other people in your class as you are to your own. So it's incredible in terms of contributing to other people. And everybody's responsible for each other's successes. And, um, and just it's just wonderful. New, I just thought of a new name for it. What's that? It's like networking on steroids. Okay? Yeah, yeah, right? exactly. It's kind of, yeah, like doing that when you're going in 30 days, you know, and getting it done and making a commitment and being accountable. You know, we use all the distinctions that are used out there in the world of business. I bring them in to the world of entertainment. And I just think it's the most incredibly wonderful combination. If you can bring those things together, you know, become an entrepreneur and have that entrepreneurial spirit and mix it with your creative talents, man, you know, things that would take you 10 years 
are going to happen in a year. And you've seen it. Oh my God. I, it's been for 18 years I've been doing this. I've seen it before my eyes. Right. Now you haven't done this for, you know, since oh, I know man. you, you haven't done this for nine years. I feel and there's, there's a reason. There's a reason. And I do feel kind of guilty about that. I've had a lot of calls complaining over the years that I should be doing it. The problem is I used the tools myself over those years of teaching it. And about nine years ago, we had the last big one, which was in 2002. And because um, we did quite big classes back then. And uh, but the problem was I started producing. I'm a film producer for Snowfall Films, which is my own company. I co-founded that company and I've uh, produced nine feature films in the last nine years. So I've been a little busy, Ed. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. So I haven't had a lot of time to be teaching classes. So you walk, but you, you, you talk the walk. Oh yeah, oh yeah. yeah. And I mean, some of the co and all the coaches have had amazing results, and they they're coming back to contribute. They're doing it for free. So a lot of you, the guest speakers, what do you, you know. What you say to somebody now yeah. that says to you, "Wow, you know, I'm sold," but right, you know, I don't have four hundred and forty-five dollars. Yeah. I've been you know? hearing that for 18 years, you know. Really? Uh, the even, yeah. even in good times. Even in good times. It doesn't matter. People don't get the importance in investing in themselves. They do in the business world. We were all trained in the early in the 70s and 80s by Tom Peters and all those management consultants. You put 5% to 10% of your salary aside to take, you know, programs to improve, you know, your whatever in order to, you know, become a better salesperson with the company. Or It was just automatic you did that. You didn't even blink in the, in the business world, on, entrepreneurial world, you don't even blink. You take those programs every year to double you know, your income at your Ford dealership or whatever. But in the entertainment industry, we never think of investing in ourselves that way. We will take that extra acting class or that extra directing class, but I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about how do you invest in yourself as a business person, as that entrepreneur, as the president and CEO of your company. Invest in you. That's the best investment you'll ever make as far as I'm all the directing classes in the world, all the writing classes in the world, my husband was one of the most brilliant in the world writers, didn't mean anything until he got the skills, the business skills to go out and create the relationships and set the meetings to get the job. You know, that's what it's worth investing in. And 445000 is a joke. In most companies, some of the tools were $445. <laughs> but what I'm saying is in yeah. most companies, in most businesses, you're dealing in the thousands. I would think nothing, I mean, when I was in the business world, I was spending 10000 I spent 10000 on one weekend course one time really? in the business world. I spent 2000 on a weekend course one time. I spent, oh my God, I mean, you didn't even blink, 7000 on a one day course when I was in the business world. I was vice president of marketing for a television network in Canada. I mean, you didn't even blink. And then in Philly, yeah, I worked in distribution. You didn't even blink, you know, when it comes to business people doing that. All this is originally 545 not 1000 $545 and we have an early bird special that ends on my birthday October 7th uh, next week which is 445 which once again I think is insane the ridiculously cheap for an investment in you to get out there and you know hone those skills and maybe for some people for the first time of being a business person inside show business guess what it's not just show it's show business and that's the area in which we're lacking so I would say this is an investment in you and given the guest speakers we've got coming given the coaches given the goal you can set for yourself you know we're here to make a lot of us to to make an imprint on the world you know we're in an industry where we get to contribute and get to be seen but my god the entire planet it. Yeah. You know, we get to have dreams come true that are, I think, bigger than winning the Olympics, you know, and people at the Olympics have coaches. Everybody has a coach. Everybody sets themselves up like an entrepreneur, except in the entertainment industry. We are so focused on the creative, we forget that part of ourselves, and we forget that that part of ourselves needs a coach and needs these kind of programs. So I just think that this investment is well, well beyond worth it. Okay, so...